Sharon Cuneta, born Sharon Gamboa Cuneta on January 6, 1966, in Santa Mesa, Manila, is a renowned Filipina actress, singer, television host, and socialite who has left an indelible mark on the Philippine entertainment landscape. Her full name, Sharon Gamboa Cuneta Pongilinan, is synonymous with success, stardom, and the moniker Megastar. Sharon's journey to stardom began at the tender age of 12 when her melodious voice caught the attention of both young and old with hit songs like Mr. DJ, Kahit Mapuri Na Ang But Hak Ku, and High School Life. This early musical prowess paved the way for her entry into the world of entertainment. She effortlessly transitioned from being a young singing sensation to a highly acclaimed actress, marking the beginning of her legendary career. Her venture into hosting, followed by acting, displayed her remarkable versatility. Sharon's rise was meteoric, earning her the title of the Queen of Viva Films. She graced the silver screen in numerous iconic films during the 1980s, smoothly transitioning from teeny bopper roles in films like Dear Heart and P.S. I Love You to more complex characters in Buka's Luluhad Ang Manga Tala, Dapat Kabang Mahalan, and Madrasta. Critics and audiences alike lauded her performances, solidifying her status as an acting powerhouse. Sharon Cuneta's early life was marked by a rich musical environment. Raised by parents with a deep love for music, her father's record collection and her mother's background in music paved the way for her musical journey. Her mother, Elaine Gamboa, a piano major, encouraged Sharon to explore various musical instruments, including piano, guitar, and flute. Her aunt, actress Helen Gamboa, further shaped her artistic inclinations, with a young Sharon even accompanying her to television show tapings. At just 12 years old, Sharon's life took a pivotal turn when she visited Baker Records. Her uncle, Taito Sato, a vice president at Baker, invited her to record Tawag Nong Pagibig. This marked her first foray into the world of professional music, propelling her onto television screens and airwaves. Mr. DJ, another hit, earned her the moniker a DJ's pet and a gold record award, kickstarting her music career with albums like Sharon and Sharon Cuneta. Aside from her music, Sharon's hosting journey began alongside her aunt, Helen Gamboa, in the TV variety show Cute, Call Us 2 for Entertainment on IBC 13. In 1980, her growing popularity as a singer led to a remarkable opportunity, recording Tubig at Longies, the theme song for the film starring Vilma Santos. This was the beginning of Sharon's association with iconic film projects that would shape her career. Dear Heart, her first feature film, marked her collaboration with heartthrob Gabi Concepcion. Their on-screen chemistry was magic, creating a sensation that paved the way for more collaborations, including the box office hits P.S. I Love You and My Only Love. Sharon Starr was on a meteoric rise, leading to unforgettable films like Bitwing Walang Ningning, where her acting prowess was celebrated, and she was crowned 1985's box office queen of RP movies. Sharon's prowess extended beyond the silver screen. Her musical variety show, The Sharon Cuneta Show, debuted in 1986 on IBC, becoming one of the longest-running musical variety shows on Philippine television. Amid her success, she experienced personal trials, including her short-lived marriage to Gabi Concepcion. Despite challenges, Sharon's collaboration with national artist for film, Lino Bracca, brought her critical acclaim, including a Best Actress nomination. Sharon's stardom continued to soar as she conquered various film genres, from romance to action, her partnership with action stars like Fernando Poe Jr., Robin Padilla, and Rudy Fernandez resulted in certified blockbusters that cemented her status as the box office queen. Her talent was celebrated with accolades like platinum, double platinum, and triple platinum awards for her music. The 90s marked a period of triumphant resurgence for Sharon, as she reconciled with Gabi Concepcion in successful films and delivered stellar performances in films like Madrasta. 
In 2000, her film Amin San Mihnaholkita shattered records, and she continued to receive awards for her acting prowess. However, her focus gradually shifted towards television and music, resulting in the launch of her album Isn't It Romantic? Sharon's return to television, her hosting of A Star Power and The Biggest Loser Pinoy Edition, and her work in films like Caregiver showcased her enduring appeal. A successful reunion with former flame Richard Gomez in films like Nayan at Kahilanman highlighted her evergreen chemistry and acting finesse. Sharon's life was a balance of remarkable career feats and personal growth, as she navigated relationships, including her marriage to politician Francis Pongilinen and raising a loving family. Sharon Cuneda's journey remains an inspiration. From her humble beginnings as a young singer to her reign as the megastar of the Philippine entertainment industry, her legacy is etched in the hearts of millions. Her versatility, resilience, and genuine talent continue to captivate audiences, making her a true icon of Philippine showbiz. Sharon's story is a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and unwavering dedication to one's craft, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment.